Turbo? Turbo. Turbo! Turbo. Hello everyone, I'm James Orton. Welcome back to the channel. I'm at Mazda of Crystal Lake. If you need any answers on Mazda product. Today we're looking at the 2021 Mazda CX-30 in Turbo Edition. So there's two trim levels available for the turbo powered CX-30. And that'll be a difference of 2300 whether you want the base turbo and or the premium. So the turbo premium will be identified by this roof rail here that comes as standard equipment. Or you can always peek through the front windshield and see if it has the active driving display. That's another sign of a turbo premium. So if you're driving a turbo or you're considering a turbo, you'll notice the black wheels that are metallic finish on that alloy wheel. They're 18s, as well as you have the black mirror caps that are finished with a metallic paint as well. And then you'll have the badging on the rear tailgate that says turbo on it. The turbo is gonna produce 320 pound-feet of torque, which is a twisting force that gets you going. The horsepower of 250 keeps you going. You can use regular fuel, which would change those numbers to 227 horsepower. And when you put premium in it, then it'll be the 250 mark for horsepower. The base turbo will have heated seats on leatherette upholstery and the signature illumination of the LEDs will be standard on your base turbo. You have standard LED illumination for the interior. Mazda Connect services is also standard equipment, so in-car Wi-Fi hotspots, access to 
remote start from your phone. You have a heated steering wheel, heated seats on turbo premium, dual zone climate control. Paddle shifters is another big one for the turbo premium. And the Bose sound system is the best it's ever been in a Mazda for the Mazda 3 and CX-30. And it's a high gloss black trim around the speaker. So we are having more and more clientele come in and say that they haven't owned a Mazda before and are experiencing it for the first time. And it's just a great time to be in a Mazda. The details that they're putting into their interiors and fit and finish. The stitching is nice and straight. No visual noise or visible welds on the uh, door frame as you enter and the seat. The time that Mazda took on this seat to develop it, design it, and engineer it, and we get compliments on this seat a lot when you sit in here and it supports your body the way it feels right. There's other details on, say, this pedal here that's attached to the floor. You find that in more race cars, but it's uh, for linear modulation as you accelerate instead of it hanging from the top here and being an inconsistent um, stab of the gas pedal. Standard on Turbo Premium is memory seats. Here's your power tailgate switch. A little stash for extra storage. Here you have off-road traction assist and that's going to assist you in locking up the rear differential in case you are doing some heavy-duty off-roading or experience an opportunity to utilize the rear differential more so than just a front bias setup. Turning off the safety systems is right there. You also have an automatic setting for the lights to dim the brights as it senses oncoming traffic. So you look at the console, and this is a pretty important piece to point out. Whenever I'm in another car, I will always turn on the radio, right? So you have access to volume over here on the steering wheel. But if you do have your hand, usually in this location, as you're accessing the shifter or the other controls here, I find that I am always looking to adjust the volume if I'm in a different car right here and it's habit to me because I've been in so many Mazdas but this just feels more natural to me to be able to adjust the volume and that's uh, another thing to speak to about Mazda's human centric approach to designing this interior so I'm in a different car and my hand just navigates right here and then I have to take my hand off of there and adjust it here which this just seems so much better and that's Mazda's human-centric approach. The other buttons here you have at your access, where your hand would be mostly, is your auto hold, and that will keep the car stationary without your foot on the brake. So when you come to a stop, you can take your foot off the brake, it will not move, but keep the rear tail lights illuminated, and it won't move until you hit the gas. So if you're as convenience waiting for the train or in deep traffic you can utilize that as another convenience your Mazda connect system I've done a video on that and what's included there's an owner's manual in here you could play videos off of a USB and the screen for backing up when you need the rear view camera is a nice crisp resolution I've done a video on that you can check that out up at the top let's get to driving this be driving and might as well put on some tunes this is how you hook up your Apple CarPlay and it'll ask you to enable it and of course all your favorites come through
So I recently got some time behind the wheel in an extended period of time for a dealer trade. That's when we get something from another dealer for our client. And I had it on the highway doing 55 to 70. And the way it moved on the highway, it delivered enough power. And I felt really, really comfortable in the way that it moved. That being the seat has a critical role in the way that you feel when you give an input to a machine. And they did such a fantastic job, the engineers. Thank you, Mazda. You can get your CX-30 in front-wheel drive. If you opt for the all-wheel drive, it's about a $1,500 difference between the two. And just know that it is a full-time active, iActive all-wheel drive system that's monitoring 200 times per second whether it needs uh, power delivered to front or back axle through the way that the steering wheel is turned, your wheel speed sensors, your yaw control, monitors through the automatic windshield wipers it tells the all-wheel drive system to hey be ready for precipitation uh, lots of things to keep you out of harm's way now with this being turbo the acceleration is effortless it's just so wild to have that extra power at your foot and you don't have to press it hard one of my favorite things is the way it turns and excels through a corner so we're gonna take that S curve a little bit spirited and just let you hear I'm gonna turn it into sport mode engine brake with the downshift, control momentum. Now all that torque is at my foot. The Skyactiv Drive 6-speed transmission is one of my favorite parts about the Skyactiv architecture and engineering. Being able to control the car's momentum, not just with gas and brake, but the transmission, comes in real handy in case you're merging or having to slow down in a hurry or taking the off ramp to decelerate. Just to be able to deliver that power how you want and communicate with the car with these paddle shifters, the shifter itself being able to have access to all that torque I love that about Mazda and how they build that into their driving experience and I'm doing 70 already Lord I apologize Siri could you take some notes please what do you want it to say visit James Orton at Mazda of Crystal Lake for the best deal on your Mazda okay I created a note. It says visit James Orton at Mazda of Crystal Lake for the best deal on your Mazda.
time I do not give a fuck like I'm a nun Roll it first, I break it down like I'm playing drums Half the time I give a fuck a little too much Roll the J fat, you would think it was a dud When I'm in a funk, I don't think I do enough But I turn the current 97 in the clutch I'm not too concerned with what was said by such and such I could probably quit and live forever what I've done